for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, warrant bills have been signed, correct? Yes. yes. No. Okay, do I have approval of the agenda? I'll make a motion to approve the agenda. Second. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Okay, minutes of the last meeting. Uh, we're tabling the holiday. They're not quite ready. Okay, we'll, we'll be tabling them. Town Administrator, weekly update. All right, just a couple items. Uh, first, to let you know that um, the public hearing notice has been sent out. Um, I think a couple of you saw it, but essentially it says that public hearing notice Wednesday, July 12th at the Town Hall, immediately following the special town meeting, which begins at 6 p.m., the select board members are seeking public input on proposed uses of excess unassigned fund balance, i.e. capital improvement, tax relief, and investment opportunities. All property owners' input is welcome. If you're unable to attend and would like to send in your thoughts and suggestions to be read aloud that evening, please send to Town Administrator Jennifer Rue. So we're running that online, in the newspaper, Facebook, everywhere that we can. So we'll get some input. And Tom is working on. Um, Let me comment on that. I just I haven't had a chance to talk to the selectmen about it. Uh, my thought is I would just put together uh, one or two schedules. One that would show what the town budget was last year, 23, 24. Show it by department, including the school, so that people can see what the budget changes have been. And then we'll throw up a schedule that will show what the estimated revenues are from everything other than taxes, um, what the expenses are, what the amounts needed to come from taxes, and there'll be a box in there where we can put in use of reserves. And we can just demonstrate if you use 300,000, a million in reserves, this is what happens to the tax rate, and we'll just do it interactively. Yep. I'm gonna do this for, and, and then what the reserves are. What do we have in the town? What does the school have? What's the policy for both organizations? And what is therefore technically available? And I'll indicate for the school that they're planning to draw that down over three years, and it'll all be out and people can comment. Does that sound good to everyone? Yep, that sounds like a good idea. Okay. And both um, the treasurer and the finance director of the school are working on the P&L. Oh, both apply? that's right. We're gonna get estimated P&Ls, profit and loss statements, in other words, how, the extent to which hopefully there was a surplus mm -hmm. in the year ending 20, June 30, 23. We'll know what, hopefully what that is unaudited for the town and for the school. Correct. Okay. And we pulled um, five years worth of the county school and municipal percentages for you so that you could see that you wanted to see the increases from <clears throat> county school and municipal out of, out of the 100% tax rate we talked about. You wanted to see a breakdown. I'm not, I'm not uh, I, uh, I was just gonna do a comparison of this year, last oh, year's okay. school, sorry, uh, town budget, including the school, yep. how much was municipal management, the increases. public okay. safety, Two years. transfer station, et cetera. We'll just go through and we'll see what the growth is. Okay, Fair enough. Okay, so um, next wanted to uh, go over the notable events from the Sheriff's Department. Uh, it's been a couple of months that they, since they've done it. Um, they had some vacations, but so these are notable events. Um, our first one is a domestic violence that assault that happened in Shapley. Uh, it looks like the next one was uh, someone called in that they found all types of belongings on uh, Emory Mills Road in Shapley. It turns out surveillance video showed an altercation between a man and a woman, and they were able to get that situated. On June 12th, there was a single vehicle crash on 109 in Acton. Uh, an individual went off the road and collided with a boulder. Uh, fled the scene, but they caught up with them the next day. I saw the skid box for that. <laughs> uh, on June 23rd, a female from Shapley was arrested for assault of an emergency medical care provider. She kicked the Shapley medic in the chest, scratched her, and drew blood. On the 26th, there was a stolen motorcycle on Route 109 in Shapley. The investigation is ongoing. They had an unattended death uh, that's been turned over the ME case on Fern Drive in Shapley. On the 29th, uh, they arrested an individual for operating after suspension, uh, falsely attaching plates, and an existing warrant. The individual crashed his motorcycle on an on to an oncoming car on Back Road. 
Um, it's like Shapley for the win in June. <laughs> so, and that's that. What do we? What do we set with the contract with the sheriff? Well, it's funny because we I just got CC'd in an email from the uh, town administrator in Shapley, sent one to the sheriff and myself um, asking, you know, with December six months away, what, what the plans and thoughts were, and um, he promised to get back to us soon. So as it is. This is the sheriff's yes. promise. As it is, it expires the end of December, and that's all we know right now. And that's a one-year contract we're it's in a now? one year for their request. It was scheduled to be We always were in a three-year. It was scheduled to be three. They changed it to one. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if they've renewed with anyone more recently. I certainly could find out. Curious what that point. experience was like. The follow up. Probably we are hearing ours. this. <laughs> Probably better than ours. No, it, no, we, we're hearing the same from other yeah. contract towns that yeah. Yeah. they all put um, requests in the contract and none of them got him. So no. And we're still just us and Chapley yes. with that deputy. Yeah. I don't know if you were familiar with the uh, contract that no. we used. Not with the new one? It, we, uh, There's no different. Okay. Well, we, we ended up going to meet with the uh, Shapley. Uh, uh, selectman and we had some concerns and we had some things that we wanted out of it you know, minor. We, just minor stuff you know we we changed up the contract you know one thing what was one of them oh we wanted to know when that contract deputy left that our car left acting in Shapley and went to a another location you know for new field for whatever that if we can get documentation so we know how long how often his car or when they're on overtime and they're using our car right. somewhere else and they wouldn't do it Mm -hmm. struck it out of the contract and there was a couple of things there that yeah. they did there that was just like nope do we know really? it. i think one of the issues was we wanted to know how much time was spent on administrative matters mm -hmm. in other words how long how often were they at the fire station building down there versus mm -hmm. out on the road i don't think we could get that no. could we no um they weren't very forthcoming with anything mm -hmm. they didn't want to they didn't want to play ball um and but at the end of the day, um, you know, Shapley you know, and of course Acton decided we decided to, to sign the contract, but right. they would only give us one year. Mm. And they were talking about some other options mm. and stuff that. It, Very vague. Very Do we know for sure that when he's on duty, he's doing just Acton and Shapley? No, they wouldn't let us, they wouldn't give us any, any information for that. That's. That's one thing that mm -hmm. kind of burned us a little bit, and and Shopee was on board with what we were we yeah. were asking yeah. for. I mean, it's yeah. always worked out well, but I get the, I just get the feeling it's not working as good as it did initially. I, me uh, either. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of on board with what you're thinking. Yeah, so. um, I do. You know, being a former firefighter, whatever I am now, I don't know, but I got umpteen hundred scanners in the house. I hear when they sign on. I hear what towns they sign on in. It's not just two. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. So. I'm yeah. sorry. What's not just two? They don't sign on for just two towns. I've heard our deputy sign on, act in Chapley Newfield, act in Chapley Lebanon, what they're covering. And see, the problem is, is the reason why we wanted to know where that vehicle might be at certain yeah. times is because. Yeah, he he's on forty hours, and then you know they get overtime. The only way he can make any extra money is to right. be doing other towns. Right, and we, we we wanted to know whether or not he was doing those other towns and the act in which he is. Yeah, and of course you know we're yeah. paying to maintain this vehicle and this and that. Yeah, it was so. I you know at the end of the day, this contract that is coming up in December, we may have to start looking at other you know other yeah. avenues because. They may not even come back to well, us. Well, I was going to say, before you get too far, so I, I, as yeah. soon as I said it out loud, I thought I do have a 4th of July email weekend that I, I thought I saw when I, you know, sometimes you would think, did I see an email? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, let me read it to you. It's only a couple of paragraphs, but this is to, it's a reply back to Michelle. It um, just came in. Thank you for the email. We are willing to continue the contract. We are willing to continue with the contract deputy program, but we do need to have some discussions about the customization of the contract. Contracts add staffing to our force, and towns with a contract receive much more personalized service. With all contracts, many towns have made special requests, but we plan to standardize those contracts. They will be much easier to manage. If Shapley is interested, the Sheriff's Office is also interested, pending commissioner approval. So I think that's what I was saying. He's CC'd the commissioner. If, we're, so. if Shapley's interested in what? 
I'm assuming because he's replying to Michelle's thread, yeah. reaching out to see whether or not a contract has been made, a decision has been made to move forward. I don't know. It just seems to me without an option, a plan B, that we're going to be at their mercy we and right either we're going to have yeah. police coverage or not. And if we have it, it's going to be on their terms. Do you want to they delegate? made that very clear. Do you want to delegate two of you to maybe have a meeting with, um, it'd have to be one of Shapley unless they want to have a quorum just to see what their thoughts are, if they're even interested in moving forward now that we've seen this piece? You know, I want to do that. Yeah, sure. What, uh, what's the individual I was talking to? What was his name? Yeah. He was very... Um, so Mike Cody is was is the former commissioner that yeah. probably would lead the charge in Shapley. He was the one that we were going to hook up is, and talk. Is, is, there, is there someone else that... Uh, it would be great, to, you know, whoever Shapley wanted as representative, it would be great if we had somebody that you know, as a former chief someplace yeah. that could, you know, help us figure out what our options are. Mm -hmm. it, you know, is it conceivable that w we could create our own force? Is that just just a silly thing to do? I don't know. I don't know anything about you that. You know, some former law enforcement uh, people in town. With really? I, I've been discussing, you know, you know, everybody knows I talk mm -hmm. a lot. And... Uh, you know, I've, I've been talking around, and, you know, honestly, when you mention that, you, I, there's a lot of positive to that, you know. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, looking at what we're spending right now between the town of Acton and Shapley on 40 hours, well, 20 hours a week, um, you know, there might be something to look into, and it might be an option for us. But, you know, like you said, you got to have somebody who knows how to run that That's sort, right. sort yeah. of department. Yeah. Because, you know, there's no police officers up here, so... Yeah. Um, I'm sure we can we can um, do some uh, research and see if we can find somebody that I, I would know. I would love to get some sentiment from the community about whether they think what we have is adequate. They want more. They want less. You uh, know, one thing you that know, I found. I, 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 I'm not, how do we solicit that? So know, one you know, thing I found, Tom, was during that time. You remember that what four months we didn't have the sheriff? Yeah. Nobody even knew it. <laughs> you know, most people didn't even know we didn't have the sheriff. You know, but at the same time. I remember when we voted it in, it was a big deal, you know, and everybody, you know, felt that we ought to have it, but it's whether or not the cost, we started at 20000 now we're at what? Uh, uh, 80. Yeah, almost $80,000. Yeah. I don't know. It, it's one of those things yeah. that, you know, you can be, you know, you can say, ah, we really don't need it, small town, or we're all, until something happens. Exactly. And when something yeah. happens, they'll say, I mean, we'll always know, have what is going on coverage. here? And it's like five days you know, during during the day, there's right. no night coverage, which is usually when crap happens. Yeah. And um, I don't want to spend a lot of money, but I, I really would love to know what the community thinks about it yeah. before we go to. Yeah, might be a question for next week. Yeah, just yeah. a just a light question, not. Well, we've already not we've already depth, advertised it. Yeah, you know. Maybe yeah, we we'll do some research and, and see if, you know, if we can find some individuals that might be able to lead us in a direction. Well, I, can, I can think of two, three yeah. right here in town. Yeah, so why don't we, off, off camera, we'll come up with a couple of names. And, yeah. you know, um, we, we, we have to have an option. Yeah, and we, we can have also have advertise it as a, at least a topic of discussion for the 19th for your next meeting to see if people might come. Yeah. I, I assume there's a, a main police association. Yeah. They must have somebody that they would... Yeah. They could yeah. say, oh, yeah, th that's right up this guy's alley. He's in your area. And so then we're getting somebody, you know, recommended by them. And I could rather just pick on a name of somebody. No, yeah. well, we've nothing got against couple, anyone we've local. Got a few but rec I mean, very reputable yeah, there's okay. retirees. It's, it's in fine. Town. There's two state police retirees that I know, and there's one regular police officer. And, and, and I know you're talking about. Um, I, would, yeah. I myself, and I don't want anything against anybody that lives in town, but. I, I would like to find an outside source. Yeah. That way, there we don't have any, you know, you know, because you know, you have taxpayers in town who may mm -hmm. not want it just because they don't want their taxes going up, whatever. Right. But we want something we could, we could throw out to the general public yeah. saying this yeah. is this is a plan we have. Yeah. And and sometimes it's better to try to get out there and get an outside source. I, I think once we've had a little more time to think about, you know, how we might approach this, maybe we would then organize some kind of committee. And we could call on the people locally to join in on that committee, and they could provide their advice, at, you know, through that process. Because yeah, I've got I got some ideas. Obviously, I don't want to throw them out and get everybody all yeah. worked up. But yeah. um, but I think I think a bunch of things could come together 
and make mm-hmm. something work. But if we don't come up with a secondary plan, yeah. we're right. going to be at the mercy of your county sheriff's department. And we were this year. Yeah. And I don't know how much it's gone up over the last three years, but it's a lot of money. It's it's more than double. It's doubled at least. Well, the first year, remember, we had grants, so the number looks right. higher. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I think if the we first just took his salary, I'd have to look at or their salary. We'd have to. I think it's doubled. Two years. Mm-hmm. Is that in the I don't know. I might be hard pressed to say yes to that. Okay. All right. We're at, we're at like $168,000, yeah. I think, yeah. between Acton and Shapley for yeah. the 20 hours, uh, 40 hours mm-hmm. a week. Mm-hmm. And um, so yeah. at the end of the and, and we, we, we got other things I think we can incorporate with this. So I think we, we see if we can find somebody, even some people in town. If we can get a couple of people from in town, maybe an outside with, source. Yeah, if it's exactly. sit on the committee, come like, together, yeah. When yeah. We start did a little committee up and and it. see if we can uh, start get an idea of what our liabilities might be. You know mm-hmm. what what it really yeah. entails entails to do, do we this want whole to, thing. Do we want to get a committee with Shapley? Do we want to get um, I, I think talk to them I, about? I, I, I think we having, would. I think if we're going to do it, that would be. Well, I mean, I think it'd be nice to have community members from both teams. You know, yeah, both want to meet with them first and talk about this. I idea? think we probably ought to. Why don't do we that. do that? What, yeah. uh, uh, David and I will meet with them. Okay. Uh, and we'll, mm-hmm. it, it, yep. oh, whoever, yep. I, I'm happy to do it. Yep. Uh, and. Let's talk about this idea, and we'll see if it gets any traction. Yeah, we'll, yep. yeah, it'll be the first thing is to see if they're interested. Yeah. And then if they're not, then we, yeah. we go on our own way. I'm trying to get the name of, a, of the company, too, that does it. Um, I just sent off a text to a buddy of mine that well, okay. knows it, so when it comes through, I'll let you know. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's see. So don't forget, next Wednesday we have our um, presentation for our oldest resident. It's very exciting. Yep. You guys have gotten her some nice flowers that? and a plaque, 430. Next They're playing on an hour. Yeah. When? Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. Yeah. Before yeah. the. Yeah. Right. We don't have so. a meeting though, right? We don't have a meeting. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry. Meet? No, this. Um, wait, I'm. I'm sorry. Next Wednesday is a special town meeting. Okay. I'm sorry. It's the following Wednesday, the 19th. Okay. Okay. So okay. Elvis resident. Okay. Um, so we get, did flowers. We did a plaque. Anything else for the 19th? Since we're not meeting next week, anything else you want to present to the individual? The. Uh, but, yeah, the they've Boston got the cane. cane. They've we, got the cane. Well, we've got it, but okay. the the historical society will be here presenting with you. Yep. Yeah. And that's the presentation. The select board. So, okay. um, yep. one of you just need to be prepared to speak. That that cane is the that's the replica cane. It's the replica cane. Okay. Yes, purchased by the historical yep. society. That's At one point, the there was a pin or something came with it too. Mm. Yeah. I, I thought I, I thought Claire had one of those. Oh. Mm. Yeah, there was a pin with one of the people. See if I can do some. Yeah. Was it on the end of the cane? No, it's a, it was so a separate. So they would wear, right? Well, yeah, it was like a lapel oh, okay. pin mm-hmm. for the individual. Did it say something about? on it? I, think it, I don't remember what it said. Yeah, Recipient of Boston Post cane or something like that. All right, so. let's see what I can find. All right, that's all I have, David, I think. Okay. I guess we're going to. Is the family invited? Yes. Great. Yes, yes. They, um, they're working on that piece. I'm trying not to announce her name just nope. in case or anything, yep, but idea. we nope. meet a family and everybody, um, and she's made some special requests. Oh, okay. Good. Good. We'd like firemen here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we love I, firemen, I, I, so that's I great. I didn't hear about that <laughs> request. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, we're going to go down to I'm department head, community chair updates. <laughs> Uh, Will England District One. Um, I'm sure you all knew uh, somebody stole the West Shore Drive street sign. Yeah, we saw it all over Facebook. There, yeah, yeah. I put that back up, and then uh, somebody stole my Man Road sign, and then pushed my uh, H Road and Acton Ridge sign over. Just pushed it over, so I stood that back up, and then I did get a call about the stop sign on 13th Street, and I gave Adam a stop sign, so I'm sure he'll fix that. And then uh, this week we're gonna uh, go fix some washouts that we had from. Last week, and I had a little bit more over this weekend, so we're going to start cleaning that stuff up. So, which which is the one on 13th Street, one right on 109? Oh, uh, yeah, I believe so. That was the one they said it was right at the end of the road. So, I think so it, as far as I know, I know we always took care of them the ones on 109 mm-hmm. and Milt Mills Road and Fox's Ridge, but the state's supposed to be responsible for the stop sign coming onto their road, right? I couldn't, re- I, she said it was, it was on the end of 13th Street. So yeah. I don't know if it was the one by the fairgrounds or the no, that would be the one, the other one would be all the way in a cove wood, all right? So, all right, sounds good. Yeah, that was the one I think the sheriff sent me an email and I 
sent it to yeah. the middle of the weekend. Um, as much as we appreciate the state, it's quicker for Will just to get it out there. Well, right? that's why we always <laughs> did it. But, you know, after a long period of time of them disappearing, you know, I would contact North Berwick or Alfred and say, I like get compensated for some street signs at some point because they're supposed to be the ones putting those signs out. Okay, any more uh, department head committee chair updates? No? Okay, I guess we're going to move on to liaison updates. Um, none? None? No, my work has been with the treasurer nope. primarily, dealing yep. with investments. Yeah. Money has moved. Money has moved. moved. $4 million from uh, partners to TD Bank. Uh, we're in the process of investing. Yep. Yeah. And we got great word from partners that they've... Uh, no, is partner, partner yeah um, they're offering 4.5 percent on on our, the, on our sweep account which is uh, significantly more so they've upped their game so that's good uh, and we got an email today Tom you and I and Kelly are meeting with Mark Roy and his associates yes did you see that four hours Oh, is that what it was? Well, yeah. I, I probably won't hang around for four hours, but that's okay. Me neither. Yeah. <laughs> so that's um, well, most of that will be work with Kelly. Yeah. That so that's go that's coming it. up. What I think on the t yeah. next Thursday. Okay. Um, it's is that right? Up. Next Thursday. I'm pretty sure it's next Thursday. Uh, what time? I'll check. I feel like it's ten, but just send me a note on it. Yes. Thank yeah. you. And Very then cool. um, audit is scheduled for the very last week in August. They're coming out. I told you that. Yeah. 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 That's for, great. Yep. Last week. Um, the roof, I'm just thinking of the liaisons. The roof got fixed at the fire station. The gentleman okay. finally came out. So we had a small leak at the fire station roof, um, and we reached out to the individual that replaced it. It was five or six years ago, and he made good on it. He came out and did some resealing. It wasn't so much the shingles as it was one of those vents. Oh. So he did some resealing. I haven't heard of a metal way. roof? No. Oh. Shingles. So I'm assuming it got fixed. Yep. Um, I sent you an email with the school. Did you, you were hooking up with Mr. Ross? Yeah. The I, meeting, got that. Um, we're gonna meet with the forest committee next week. I met with Sam on the oh, work yeah, committee so the other day. Yep. Yeah, it went well. Uh, we, looking for members. Looking for members, yep. Yes, looking, looking for, for members of the members rec. And uh, we're doing a little reconfigurating with the, uh, the duties of the committee and the um, Director to try to get Everybody the uh, a little more involved and yeah, we're trying to get the uh, committee itself more involved and a little bit more of authority and um, And I, I think it's I think it will work out. Well, we just need some more people yeah. Good. Perfect. I, I did have a conversation with Robin up at the transfer station over the weekend and we're gonna set up a time when him and I can get together and just go over wants and needs and whatnot and I'm gonna do the same thing with the fire station so. uh, For the rec committee uh, at at games, etc. Could we just have a just a little flyer that could be handed out to parents and the that are sitting there, asking them to consider the rec? Yeah, sure. Why not? They're they with their kids. Those are probably ones that might be interested in. Is there any sports programs going on right now? Uh, no, baseball has ended. So well, actually, oh. tumbling is well, tumbling is starting next week. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. just a, a way to get into them. Sure. Yep. I do hear there is some mumbling and some people that maybe Yeah, we've had a few names coming up. Um, and regarding the rec, since we're, it's not on the agenda, but um, David and I have been communicating with the engineers regarding the rec um, oh. presentation that they submitted um, and kind of asked them to take it back a step, maybe do some, um, remove a few items. They It was kind of a standard plate that they used, a boilerplate. We talked about the fees that were in there. So they... Uh, optimistic that they're going to be able to make a permit, pretty dramatic they added a month of permit um, fees. You know, we don't, yeah, there was a lot in there. That they're going to get that back to us before your next meeting. One, one consideration, too, is I also told her, I uh, had Jen you know, tell them, well, we got to get this number down so it's manageable, right. that we may have to consider picking parking lot, not the whole thing. Yeah, just to get we, something we, we've going. We've got to get there. something rolling. So, um, so, but it sounds like they're going to yep. start chiseling away at it to make it work. Perfect. Good. Good. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll go down to old, uh, old business. Nothing there. Go to new business, road assessment. So in front of you, you have um, the proposal from Sebago Tech um, for Dan and Ed. This, we went out to bid for an engineer several months ago, um, and 
they met with Sebago Technics, and that was the company that they chose. So now, essentially, the idea was to get an engineer um, on the payroll so that, like, an electrician and a plumber, when we needed something, we could just go to that person instead of going out to bid every time. So during budget season, we um, asked them for these, for several different RF um, proposals. Now that the article has passed, I'm hoping that we can make some decisions here. The first one you have in front of you is a town-wide road assessment. If you look at the scope of the work, it spells out um, what they're going to do. Um, meet with you and the road commissioner to establish objectives, uh, discuss the road rehabilitation projects, general budgets, schedule for improvement. They're going to conduct site visits to and drive and evaluate the roads, drainage patterns, and document with site photos. They're going to do an inventory road based on DOT classification figure out the daily traffic volumes, uh, prepare a map of the town network, evaluate road, will be given a color based on condition, prepare a summary of reports, um, and meet with you to go over the final road assessment. Um, this was proposed at 18-9. It was approved at town meeting. So I'm trying to figure out what the board's next step is, is on this. Is there, is there any of this that we have already? Given, um, I, I, I can never remember the acronym. What is it? R RSMS. RSMS. Is there any of this material that we have already in the system? And if so, um, why can't we, let's not have them redo that if we have this information. So already. bring Will up here. So as Will will tell you that Will and I and uh, Adam went through and entered the bottom of RSMS Will that had those, um, what was it, alligator cracks? What were those three categories? Like, uh, I think one was like alligator cracks. Um, I can't remember. I can't remember. Yeah, I, I have to look at it. But it there, has like, are there, I think it had like different, like very, like different types of like cracks. You could like implant. So if you had like small cracks, like big, big cracks. And I think maybe even there was one for like a pothole or maybe. I can't remember. So the, on every single road, there were, let's just say, four different items, you know, whether it's, whether it's drainage or crackage or, or whatever, whatever it is. The road committee and others went out and actually, you know, documented their opinion of the condition of each one of those. So I, yeah, yeah. in our SMS, we just went in and checked off, let's just say, one to five, one being poor, five being excellent. So there are opinions in there of that stuff. Is that fair to say? Oh, yeah. Um, what I was thinking, and it, I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut but you off. I'm just saying, that's, a, that's really, I mean. Right, in the but, other. But uh, for instance, I assume the state has an inventory of roads that they could make available to us and do are we going to actually do uh, uh, studies that determine the traffic on roads is that is that yeah. what they're planning to do or i, so. I thought um, i heard that maybe i well there's yeah, the I mean, traffic there is the traffic count and i want to say maybe two years ago there's traffic counters out is that state roads or all town roads? oh they had them on like h road like goose pond i road. guess i guess what i'm getting at is if we got data generally available in the public not necessarily in the rsms system then we don't want to be paying them for that data if it's generally available well the, the data that's that was put in the rsms anything that's been put in there was done by the road committee correct correct with right, right. I, okay so i i think a lot of this is so that we have a professional come in and give us a complete layout of everything that you know an assessment that way there what we do put into that that program at this point is, you know, not knocking anybody on the road committee, but mm -hmm. these are professionals. This is what they do, and, and this will get us a good start to get rolling on that. Right. Maybe we could go over each of these just so I understand what we're doing. I get 1.1. They got to meet with you and the road commissioners to evaluate the scope of the road issues, to conduct site visits, to drive and evaluate road conditions and drainage patterns and documents and site photos. I get that. Inventory roads based on DOT road classifications and average daily traffic volumes, if available. Is that something they're going to be doing, or is that something that is just plucked out of a state database? Well, it sounds like that's what they'll probably do. They'll probably put traffic counters out, if I had, if I had to take a guess. But if, if the state is, I guess what I'm getting at, if right, the right, state I'm already has that, why are we paying for it? Right. And right. Uh, prepare a map of town roads. I, I thought we had one. Um, you we do pay, we do pay cardi cardiographics for our maps. Huh? We do pay cardiographics for a map. So, uh, you know, prepare a summary report of findings. Okay. A summary of... Uh, it's just a couple of these items look like... 
the data is already available, and I don't know why we're why we're paying them to do this. I mean, I guess like like Dave said, I guess if we're going to do it, we might as well maybe start fresh. I I guess that's. Well, I think a lot of it too is like when you look at uh, which one is it here? The one you're to some of the inventory of roads based on DOT road classification and average daily traffic volumes, if if available. Now that's only if we have that information. But the other, when I say based on DOT road specification, I would say that's what what DOT would specify the road is. You know, the damage. You know, the class of it. Mm. Um, okay. Yeah. I don't look, I'm, I'm out of my depth. This isn't my. Yeah. <laughs> I, feel, I understand that I've, I've gotten calls from a few people in town they yeah. say hey look some of this data is Isn't readily it? available from the state why are we paying them to do that but, it seemed like a reasonable but, question that's all but if we're going to pay to have it done we might as well have it all in one format Yeah. and everything's going to be in one thing when you start yeah. from there instead of having the chase yeah, trying to I, find I everything agree else so I don't think we're going to save any money by I mean we've never done anything out. like this before no. so okay. you know this might be a one shot and done and well, give us a good starting point, or it also may tell us what we did with the uh, MSRS, whatever RSMS. it is. <laughs> yeah, that too. Um, I'm glad I'm I could, I'll never one. remember it. Um, <laughs> was done correctly. Yeah. So and that's fine. Yeah, yeah. and that and that's good. So yeah. okay, yeah. But I don't want to put anything yep. in say that, that the information before wasn't yep. correct. No, I just you know gives us a good verification. Guess we're gonna find out. Yep. Yeah. All right. A motion to sign. What's that? I will make oh. a mo I'll make a motion. We sign the contract with Sebago Tech. Um, I'm assuming this is a contract number two, three zero three five five. Is that the uh, for the road assessment 18, for eighteen thousand nine hundred dollars? We go second. I'll second. Um, should we put this out to public discussion? Sure. Yeah. Why not? Any uh, public comment? I see none. Town meeting, so. Okay. All in favor? Here you go. I asked that because I know Tom, that's when you ran the meeting, that's, you always well, have a tendency to kind of blow by that process. It's, 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 it only takes a second. Copy. <laughs> huh? Let's sign one. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll sign that one right there. Um, I'll just sign down here. Fire department, pretty happy with all that rain. You don't have to worry about chasing around firework fires, right? <laughs> okay. MRI is the name of that company. Yes, they did our fire ambulance. Um, when, uh, no, what was that gentleman's name that did that? Do you remember? That was Neil Courtney. Neil Courtney. Is he yeah. tied to them at all? I don't believe so. MRI. MRI. Okay, we're going to go down to B, transfer station assessment. So this one's a little more detailed and because I know that uh, Daniel nor Edward have reviewed it and Ed is the new liaison, I thought it seemed appropriate to um, have them read it as some homework, put it on the next <coughs> agenda. Um, maybe Ed can meet with uh, Robin. But this proposal, um, there's three different fee schedules depending on which option you go with. There's also some areas of <coughs> wiggle room with some of these permit fees. Um, and I know that Robin had talked about uh, meeting with Eric, correct? Mm -hmm. Didn't you tell me that? Um, so I was hoping we could, I'm sorry? Okay. Yep, we could uh, start moving on this. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I assume um, once they've done their survey and prepared a schematic design, that has their thoughts about what we might do down at the site. I. I assume we would have an opportunity as the board to see that and uh, either accept that as a scope Absolutely. or revise it and it could alter this fee schedule. Absolutely. Is that a fair statement? So, you know, I think, I think where you're going with this is a good idea. So what I've seen before in other municipalities where they've had engineers come in and 
I want this, I want this, they come in with this, yeah. not <coughs> that. Yeah. And so what I think what we ought to do is we can make a motion there to accept this contract up to yes. schematic. Schematic design. Just number then, one and two? Then go on beyond that afterwards. So if they come to us and their design is like, yeah, it's like crazy, yeah. no good, we don't want to have to pay for the rest of it. You yeah, know, we that, don't want to be locked in at no, that point. I think that's a good idea, Tom. Okay. Uh, so... So really, we're talking about maybe a little under ten thousand yep, dollars uh, to get to a schematic design. And, and that's you're looking down here too. You got uh, over eleven, almost twelve thousand dollars down permits. here, permits and and which DEP. we may or may not. And yeah, and so most of that stuff we probably won't have to even yeah. deal with. I think a lot of this is just stuff that they deal with every. It's like a uh, the other one, the format. You know, mm -hmm. boom, 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 blast it out, you know. Um, that yep. design and construction document and bidding services, that will also vary as the scope of the project varies. Yep. That could go down significantly yep. uh, if we reduce the scope based on what we see in the schematics. Yep. Yep. Okay. So these guys are gonna, you guys are gonna do some homework for well, it's gonna be two weeks, right? Because we don't have slot yep. meeting next week. Right. So do we want to though, um, so that Ed and I can move forward? Do we want to? Motion to approve the start of number one and two, not to exceed 97.5. Well, I mean, do you guys feel comfortable with that? How about you, Dan? I mean, you haven't read over it yet, have you? Or you want to put the whole thing off? I mean, if you folks think it's fine, then I think it's fine. Well, I mean, all, 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 the, all that's going to do is get us to a point where they're going to give us a design, uh, a pre-design, I guess. You know, it's... Kind of just to catch you up, David, did, uh, David met with him. Robin has already met with the company as well. They've been on site once, so just so you know. Twice. I'm sorry, they've been on site twice. Have we got kind of an inventory of the scope of what we're talking about there? I, I know we're talking about addressing the entrance, right? And um, traffic flow within. Um, it, 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 what else is on the table? The ramp for the... Uh metal container yeah it's some right. kind of uh, drive yeah. through there before we even start that i gotta get the tree people in there to cut the trees that i want cut. yeah but before we do anything we gotta get, right. we gotta get a scope and all this right yeah. so is that really the is that pretty much the scope of this it's really the entrance and create a new road up by the steel thing for a return trip for people right. to leave. yeah yeah and that's that's yeah. basically the scope of work and okay all right So, do you want to make a motion to just like? Um, I'll, I'll make a motion to move forward with Sebago Tech's proposal um, for the survey services and schematic design at a cost of nine thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. At which time we'll have an opportunity to review that and decide next steps. Uh, Seconded. Second. Any comment? None. All in favor? Okay. So I won't have you sign that one just because it's not complete. So we'll skip that. Okay, town report. So last week I sent you a statue, which yep. I was kind enough to put in your packet of wealth as well to refresh your memory. This is, uh, Tom, I think you were the one that we talked about um, what was legally required to be in the annual report because now the fiscal year is done. Do you want to get moving on this? Yeah. So, Tom, do you want to go over this, what's required, and give me some direction? I'm sorry. I, I, if I, I'm not prepared to do that today. So right. let's so we'll put just, it off to the next meeting, unless you want to run through yeah, it, Jennifer. I'm just going to run through them so we can put some deadlines in. So, okay. um, record of financial transactions, the statement of assets and liabilities, delinquent taxpayers, the post-audit report, name and address of the auditor, auditor's comments and suggestions for improving financial administration, Comparative balance sheet, statement of department operations, um, name of those issued concealed handgun permits, copies for distribution, um, that's it. So really, through 3A are the only things that are legally required to be in there. I'm sorry? That through 3A on the back, that's what it's required Item to be Item 3, A, B, C, D. Right. And then on the back, see it says 3A. It's kind of confusing. You got three. I here. know it should be four A. <laughs> yeah, it should yeah. be four A. Okay, so uh, this looks like it all has to be audited information. Right. So we have to wait for the audit. That's how we've handled it in the past. And but. the date when this has to be filed? 
It's supposed to be available three days before the NC. Uh, copies of the report and all municipal records shall be kept in the municipal office. No, that's not it. Um, right here. Copies of the report must be deposited in the municipal office three days before the annual meeting. Um, the annual meeting. The town meeting. And we did have a one sample three days before. It wasn't available to the public, oh. but somebody, and actually someone did come in and look at it. Um, so we were in compliance. We just didn't have the handout. So, oh, okay. So thank you. We were in compliance. We were in compliance and I have okay. the UPS shipping label to prove it. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Jennifer. Thanks for doing the skin that. of our teeth, right? Yeah, basically. <laughs> but, okay. Um, so we need to talk about dedication this year's report. We need to talk about, um, deadlines because we're going to send out a memo to the department heads and committees and you know, we get ourselves, I mean, we're in this situation with the audit, so. The audit, I can't the, imagine, is going to be done before sometime in November. We are not going to get it any sooner than yeah, that. Yeah, I'd be surprised if we get it. And that would be the earliest. We could get unaudited financials, <clears throat> but this requires audit. So the problem is every person that takes a book at my counter makes a comment. I mean, the, this fiscal year has ended, and we're handing them last year's book. And I try to explain to them that, you know, law requires audited numbers. That's what we're waiting for. So you get the, you know, change the order, do this, do that. I mean, get the well, for this I, year. if. And then all the department heads, we give them a deadline, they meet it, the book still doesn't go out to press because. You know what we could do is, we will have the report from our accounting firm um, sometime in probably November, maybe earlier, but November. You and that we can count on. So. Um, you think all these things would be listed in that report? Oh, yeah. So, but they're unaudited. All right. So what we could do is have a copy of that report so that people could pick it up at the counter if they want. So at least to get the financial information. So don't, don't put that in the town report. Don't just put it, just have it available. This is, yeah. and you know, we should work with Roy to craft something that um, is, you know, condensed and, you know, uh, straightforward, not, not a hundred page report, which is what uh, we get from our auditor so but as far as a town report it's out of our control it is and we can't do it until we get the audit and um, we can only do what we can do maybe, you know uh, we have no choice so we'll follow the same I'm looking at the calendar we'll follow the same deadline though to start trying to get letters in from yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. and you guys will start thinking about who you well, want to be good to have I assume I write the, the, yes. the for the select board mm -hmm. I'll, I'll get that and uh, so we should why don't you put together a schedule of dates for our next meeting that we could, um, and then distribute that to all the department heads? Fair enough. Yep. And you'll think about who you might want to dedicate the town report to. I got a couple ideas. Okay. Good. Okay. Thank you for this, Jennifer. Awesome. Set liquor license public hearing. All right. So, Iron Tails was in today and uh, dropped off their annual request um, for their liquor license. Looking at the calendar, um, public hearing, if we advertise it tomorrow, I think in July 19th, your next meeting. That's, does that work for you? Yeah. What else do we have there? Do we have anything else big? Well, nope. that you have your um, presentation at 430, but. Yeah. So, yes? Yes. Ask gathering permit. In front of Tom, he has a renewal for the Volkswagen show that happens yeah. every year at the. It's a pretty big thing down there. It is. It is a pretty big thing, and that reminds me. Don't I got to tell you something about the Renaissance? Remind me. But this is a um, Volks Volkswagen yearly event. Um, I don't think we've ever had any calls on them, any trouble, sheriff's department, nope. Nope. traffic. It's just a get together of the. In and out one day, right? BWs, yeah. So it, it, it looks like we're issuing a mass gathering permit to a David Wallace. Yes. Uh, so there's no association or organization that's doing this. So it's to him personal uh, to be held at the Acton Fairgrounds, August 6, 2023. Uh, he has proof of insurance here. Yes. Um, so um, I'd make a motion that we that we approve this mass gathering report. Uh, were there any? I'm sorry, we should uh, probably get a second. Oh, a second? Yeah. Second. Were there any traffic yeah. issues with this last year? No other issues? There you go. Any comment? 
None? All in favor? While you're signing that, um, I did get a call from somebody on 13th Street today that wanted to talk about the Renaissance Fair. And they were appreciative that the board um, you know, heard it over a couple of meetings and had them come in. I told them that you had them come in and talk about a traffic study and um, talk about the Sheriff's Department. They are very concerned and would like the Sheriff's Department to be kindly reminded you know, from you that um, it's not just about keeping 109 open, well, it's 13th yeah. Street. That's yeah. a big concern to them. So I told them I'd send an email as it got closer. I think I think pretty order. much 13th Street. I mean, 109 was bad, but 13th Street there was it was impassable. Right. So um, have we have we talked to the lady since? Well, you she signed off. She had the plan. We're going to just stay on top of the sheriff's department, but she agreed to in the meeting to hire. And we'll uh, hire what? Hire um, the sheriff's department for traffic control. And, and we had a suggestion about creating a third lane. Yeah. Did they commit to that? I'd have to watch the I, I don't think, think they think, did. I think what they're going to do is let the sheriff's department figure out what's the best. And I think the fire department, the chief or whoever <clears> is <throat> on duty at that point, probably ought to uh, maybe spin down yep. during that to make sure that that stays open because he so can coordinate call? with the he can, sheriff's he can, department. He can trump, trump a lot of. Well, wow, he can call up the sheriff's department yeah. to get the, get the yeah. stuff out of there because at that point it becomes an emergency. Yeah. You know? So, but that didn't take care of 13th Street. What did they suggest? Well, they to just want to make open? sure that people We're aren't parking on both sides and they right. can get out. They just want to be able to get out. They, were, they plugged it up so bad that an ambulance couldn't get through that nobody could oh. get through there. Wow. So, um, so we'll, I think we'll, that involving the fire chief is a good idea for that yeah, day. We'll, so we'll have we'll Wayne or whoever's on duty to make sure that mm -hmm. they take periodic trips down there to make sure that that road stays open there that we, so we can get EMS or fire in there. Yeah, I see. Okay. And Tom, I noticed on the next page that liability insurance is under vacation land VW. Okay. Insurance Great. Under okay. the association. Okay. We got an executive session. Um, we're going to be making appointments. Let's do, um, no, we'll do the public comment when we come back out. Do I hear a motion for the executive session? Make a motion, go into executive session, 4056A1 for a personnel matter. Seconded. All in favor? And we'll be back. Do I hear a motion? I'll make a motion to come out of executive session 4056A-1 personnel, and I don't know what time it is. It is 724, yeah. 724. Are we here a second? Second. All in favor? Okay. Okay, we're gonna go down to appointments. Okay, I have a number of appointments here to propose, uh, make a motion on. Uh, planning board members, um, Gavin Maloney, uh, this would be for a three-year term expiring June 30, 2026. Adam Brock uh, for the planning board, also expiring June 30, 2026. Uh, Patricia Pearson, planning board, expiring June 30, 2026. Mary Grant Committee, Richard Neal, expiring 63024. Did I miss let's that? Let's do the planning board first. Okay. We'll do a, Let me we'll make sure there aren't any others separate. that I didn't get them out of. No, they're in front of it. That's it? Okay, there you go. Do I have a second on the uh, planning board? Second. Okay, all in favor? Okay. Okay. Uh, these next are all for Mary Grant. Uh, Richard Neal, uh, June 30, 2024, one year. Uh, Dan Krampitz, uh, also for one year, June 30, 2024. Tammy Krampitz, uh, June 30, 2024. Virginia DeBoy, uh, again, June 30, 2024. Hmm. A lot of new members. Uh, Linda Leck, June 30, 2024. And Kelly Collins, June 30, 2024. All for the Mary Grant Committee. Do I hear a sec uh, second on that? I'll second those. All in favor? Okay. Do we want to sign all these? Is that the idea? So while you're signing um, openings that we have, we're still looking for a planning board alternate member. 
We are looking for one member of the Mary Grants. We're looking for um, several members of the Rec Committee. Several members of the Rec Committee. I'd like to thank everybody for uh, doing their part and getting back on these committees and appreciate it. And we did send out um, letters to the Capital Improvement Committee as well. Thank you. Do we have any more appointments? Any more not coming up that we have? To um, do? I think we have gone through them all. Because everything else is voted on the town hall, uh, the town meeting, correct? Yes, sir. Just rec committee come up, right? Yeah, just the rec committee, but yeah. any of the smaller ones, I can't. No, I, th I think we tried. We did the um, cemetery. I think we've gone everything on the list. I'll double check. We miss any? We miss any? We got them all. <coughs> something down there for. Or <laughs> wherever. <laughs> just filling in at the bottom. Looks like we got a couple good days of weather coming up. Yeah. Not yeah, enough to hay yet, though. Yeah, I see. Yeah, uh, they haven't haven't cut. Uh, Smith hasn't cut yet. He's not cutting it. Langley is. Oh, Langley's doing it this year? Yep. Yeah, nice. Okay. Yeah, something I got to sign. I didn't sign them all. I'm waiting impatiently. Uh, these? Uh, maybe the maybe it was the planning board. I didn't sign. There you go. Are you hmm? waiting for something? No. Oh, oh, hey. Hey. That's two. And then hey. Yeah. Yeah, I feel bad between the hay and, and, and people putting gardens in, you know, they grow yeah. mushrooms they've been doing all right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe watermelons. They yeah. suck up the water. But yeah. There actually was a field in North Berwick that they got out of it today. Oh, they be leaving I saw tracks that. I saw, all I saw who was a, uh, Jason Ham on Facebook, yeah, so I'm cutting. Good. That surprised me. That was yeah. quick. They didn't cut much. much. The big farm there on the hill? I don't know where no, he cut. No, I just saw. Does. Oh. I'll set David. Yep. Okay. So we'll do that. I will public comment. Any public comment tonight? I see no public comment. Do I hear? Whoop, who wants to do the announcements? You want to do the announcements? I'll tonight? do the announcements tonight. We have got planning board six o'clock on the six. All of these are in July. So we have cemetery six o'clock on the tenth. We have rec committee meeting five o'clock on the eleventh. We have a special town meeting and public hearing to follow at 6 o'clock on the 12th. That's next Wednesday night. And there is no selectmen's meeting next Wednesday night. Planning board at 6 o'clock on the 6th. We already had that one on there. Yeah. A duplicate. Boston Post Kane presentation, 4.30 on the 19th. Selectmen's meeting at 6 on the 19th. Select board meeting 6 on the 26th and road committee meeting 6.30 on the 27th. Uh, do we hear a motion? Mr. Chairman. Second. All in favor? Okay. Good night, everybody.